here's a quick breakdown of how I got the cars, okay? Look, I have a Mercedes-Benz C300 already. I've had it for like two years. 2016 or 17, I gotta check the paperwork. But, newer model, right? I bought a Kia Soul, 2019 Kia Soul Plus last year. I got it for, it was listed at 9K after everything, and warranty and, and tax and everything, California taxes. Finance like 15K, like 14,000, Capital One, right? Made money with the car, put 30,000 miles on the car, um, did a little bit of ride share with the car, drove all over California with the car, NorCal, all that. Maintenance was smooth, easy, didn't even really do much, honestly. Didn't even really do much to the car. No tire changes, no nothing, not shit, really nothing gas. 35 bucks to fill up the tank, I'm riding, bro, right? I opened a business for the car company last year in December, right? Of 2021, right? So what I've learned this year, I had to build my credit up a little bit. It's still not great because trust me, when it's great, you're going to be able to tell. I'm going to have Corvette 8s. I'm going to have C8s, big bodies, exotic cars. You're going to know my credit's right. I'm still building. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still around that six, maybe even below six. On my FICO 8, I'm probably below a six. And I got five cars, five cars in three weeks three four weeks now we got a total of six cars for the fleet a whole new car company in a matter of three weeks and i'm gonna tell you how i did it a lot of you guys calling me a lot of you guys hit me on instagram everybody's uh texting me now so look this is what i did so the first car i went to go get was the glc amg i bought it at kia in irvine right Mind you, that day, I went to go look at a Porsche Cayenne. The lady, the manager had drove it off the lot for the weekend or whatever, she was enjoying the car. So I'm like, fuck it, on to the next dealership. Went to Puente Hills for a Porsche Macan S, wasn't there. So I was like, you know what? It's not meant to be. I went to go cop this Mercedes. Went to the Mercedes dealership. I seen that shit pulled up right there, smooth. I'm like, ooh, gotta grab her, gotta grab her. I'm telling the dude like, look, I got the pre-approval right here. I got the what? I got the pre-approval right here. There's game for you, right? So I already had a pre-approval from Capital One who already had my auto loan with the Kia Soul. So not only did they see that I've been establishing better credit, they seen that I was able to make my car payments on time. So they offered me a bigger, higher loan. My pre-approval was 50K. The Mercedes, obviously, the, the loan, yes, it was 50K, whatever. That's just a pre-approval. The guy goes, I can stretch more out of that. I can stretch more out of that. I just call Capital One right now. Boom. He came back with an approval with me. It was like 1200 for the payments. I'm like, hold on, bro. What? Like, I don't, I don't know. So he came back with, oh, okay, well, if we put 3500 down, woo, 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 here's the payments. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not feeling that. So he, I was like, I need to talk to the finance manager because this is without tire package, warranty on the car. Uh, powertrain, bumper to bumper, this is with nothing, right? Gap insurance, nothing. So finally sit down with the finance manager, right? Talking game, he's he's talking about the Turo business. I'm like, okay, he knows what's going on. He knows I'm trying to go get the cars, right? So broke it down, I took some things off, got a little bit of discount on the car, whatever. Gave me a way better price, way better rate, smooth, right? Trip out. He goes and tells me, bro, I can get you I ended up, no, I'm, I'm skipping a part. I ended up putting like 2,000 down on the car, right? It was the most I put down on any of the cars we got, but it also holds the most value of any of the cars we got. It's beautiful. It's an AMG fucking G GLC. You go find one right now. Yeah, I'll put it to you like that. It's beautiful. No dings, no nothing. AMG rims, all that. Fast as shit. So, let me get another bite of my chicken strip, bro. I'll do another cold dip in that sauce. Dip, 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 dip. Mm -mm -mm. Kane's really did good with their sauce. Back to my conversation, bro, about the cars. Look, I ended up getting the car, right? It was late at night, too, like 9, 30, 10. Finished the deal, whatever. Crazy part, he didn't even ask me for insurance before I left off the lot. A mistake on his part. You're always supposed to ask him for insurance before you leave the lot. So, he, there's a Lexus ES 2020, crazy clean, white on black, 20,000 miles, 25,000 miles. He goes, bro, get this car. Here, you can get this one right now. Zero down, 
Here's your payments, 900 a month. I didn't even budge with them. We could have got that right there. Boom, two new whips, smooth, You're right? Big balling, big, big, big whips, right? Passed it, whatever. So the next car we got was a Mustang. The Mustang, mind you, was a convertible. So we already used the pre-approval, so I'm missing parts, right? We used the, the Capital One, we ended up using the Capital One for the Benz, which we, we got more out of the pre-approval than what they offered, right? So you never know, man. The pre-approval is just a pre-approval. The banks can always pull something. Your personal bank or credit union can always pull something better to get you a better interest rate and all that. Actually, got a better interest rate. Capital One tried to give me 16%, 17%, 18%, like something like that. I got up like way lower, like way under 11% or something like that. So, boom, next car. On to the next dealership in like a couple days after, like four days after that. See a Mustang. It was at a Mercedes dealership in West Covina. Went to go cop it, right? We're like, okay, well, we can't use the Capital One. We just used it. I'm being straight up up front. Don't use Capital One, right? Let's try to go through Mercedes-Benz Financial. That's what, I'm, that's what I finance the baby Benz, the, the C300 or the C-Class, right? I got 2% on that car. This is the car I had for like two years already, the little the, the baby Benz. So, boom, I'm telling them like, run it through your Mercedes-Benz Financial and maybe run it through one more. Okay, boom. Ran it through Ally. A Ally Financial is the mainstream bank that a lot of finance companies and auto finance companies will finance your car. Got that zero down. B beautiful Mustang, black on black, convertible. I'll show you guys later maybe or in the next video. I don't, I'm don't. i in the Porsche right now, Macan, and um, I'm far away from the garage. So, boom. Zero down. Payments were like 600 And this is after tire package, warranty, everything. Everything is covered. Keys. Rip, rip seats, windshield, everything, the whole nine. Big body shit. So go ahead, renter. You go ahead and mess up the car. Boom. You know, I got all the warranties and all the, the all the good stuff for it, right? Covered, completely covered. So we get to the finance manager after we shook hands with the with the sales manager. Yes, we'll take the car. Let's do the financing. Get to the finance manager and we're breaking down like, look, let's get it. You know, this is what I'd like to see marked off. They put like the clear coat package, the... uh theft patrol or not even theft patrol like clear coat package and accessory package they call it it's like five grand i'm like nah i don't want any of it so she's like oh i can't remove any of this it. already installed in the cars that's how we sell all of our cars so i'm like okay look let's do this let's see what you could do knock off a little bit she knew that i was getting hesitant about signing the paperwork so she knocked off 50 percent and I got everything. Five years this, five years that. I even got a gift card to the Mercedes store for all my other stuff, all my AMG jackets and keychains and all that. So signed the car, got the discount, zero down. All right, on to car number three. We went to go get the Maserati, which you've seen in the previous video, right? That car, we went back and forth. I actually, with that car, they wanted 2,000 down. And that car was actually a little bit cheaper than the, the AMG. And I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So we're leaving. I'm like, yeah, we'll leave. We'll see you guys another time. The manager runs out, runs out. Oh, I got another approval. Uh, just a thousand down. If you could do that. In my head, I'm like, okay. So I just got in my car after talking to you after like 45 seconds. And you run out talking about you have another approval after you told me this is the only approval you have. That's bullshit. So he tried to, he caught himself in a lie right there because he didn't want to lose the deal. He was trying to get a higher down payment to get uh, a higher commission or something, get a better better deal on me. No. So I was like, you know what? Okay, you said a thousand down. We're going to get some food. We'll come back. Got some food and came back, told him a thousand down, saying, no, we can't do it. We got to do 1900. Huh? So I started tripping. I started tripping like, man, let me get Marty. Marty's the manager of Plug in Auto over at West Covina, where I got the Maserati, right? So she comes over. I'm like, dude told me. First off, he took the deal from another guy, Benny, who was already helping us. I'm like, man, what happened to Benny? Benny's our guy. He was giving us game. He was, you know what I'm saying? He came over and took over the deal. He must be one of the managers, whatever. So Marty's like, I'm going to grant you guys a thousand down. Uh, he should have never told you that. I'm like, yeah, he told us that. And woo, woo, woo. I need the package, extended warranty, all that. So she's like, unfortunately, it's a Maserati. A lot of banks don't want to work with Maseratis. It's, it's just too high end of a luxury of a car and da, 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 da. So I'm like, man, I don't even want to hear that. Let's get the deal done, whatever, right? So she granted a thousand down. We ended up getting the, the the powertrain warranty plus. We didn't get the tire package, but we got like the the key and 
seat package or some something like that. So I still got to take the Maserati over to the Maserati Rusnak in Pasadena so they can take a uh, inspection on the car. And then I have to go to the finance manager with the inspection and they're going to tell me what they could offer me. You know, as far as can they offer me wheel and tire? Can they, how many months can they offer me for the warranties, uh, maintenance packages and all that stuff? So boom, that's the Maserati. Got it a thousand down. Uh, probably could have got a zero down to be honest, but we just didn't really play with it that much. We were just kind of like, let's get the cars, let's get the cars. So thousand down, payments were like seven something, almost 800, right? Boom. Uh, the Porsche, the one I'm in now, right? Let me get one more bite. I'm going crazy. So the Porsche, right? I've only had this for a week. I got this last week. Last week on Friday, I went there on Thursday night. I called them. I was at Toyota in Beverly Hills or something like that. Culver City. Looking at another Porsche. Didn't like it. It was dinged up. The red was like super, super dark. Wasn't even fully red, just half of it. Um, So, got there. Test drove this one on Thursday night. I saw it, it was super clean. The price was, it was okay for it. But the red interior got me. The way it rides is very, very smooth. And it's a very attractive car for people and guests and renters and things like that. And um, in a later video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I got this car and why I'm actually thinking about getting another one, like tomorrow. <laughs> it's because, yeah, I'll put that in another video if I make another video, like maybe tomorrow or, or later tonight or something like that. But it's very important for everybody who's gonna get into this business and everybody who's trying to learn about how I did this or what's going on or, or, or how you could do this, right? So, boom, got this, right? They had already known, peep this. They had already known, like, oh, you guys been, you ran your credit a couple of times, like, cause this is, this is like the fourth car I'm going to get in, right? So they're like, okay, well, you know, I'm being straight up off the get. Look, I run a, I own a rental car agency. Um, I told your boy out there already. They're like, man, thank you for being upfront with us. I got this one from a luxury high end car place. Like it wasn't no Nissan, BMW. This was like, they had Lambos and G wagons and big boy shit, right? Exotic shit. Got this right. They're like, look, the banks are closed. We already got you an approval. We want to get you a better interest rate. The interest rate that they got us at night with one bank was already 15%. So. They submitted our stuff, our submit, submitted. So what happened is they submitted my stuff to the bank at night and the bank hit him back with, look, his boom, this is credit, 15% interest rate. He was like, nah, let's try to get you a better one. So he sent it into a couple other banks, right? I go home without the car. I get to my office, right? I'm like maybe two hours into the workday. Calls me like, bro, or text me or calls me. Like, look, look, I got another approval. Send me in your bank stub, send me in your proof of residence way better interest rate, whatever. Come get the car, it's ready. So that same day, I went to go get the car, right? Turns out the bank calls him like, oh, did he just get another car yesterday or, or the same day? I'm like, nah, not really. He called me, I'm like, nah. Turns out the Maserati, because of the Maserati, they fucked up. They did the financing through Capital One and it got caught. So they had to go through a different credit union which is la credit whatever credit union or whatever that's who the guy got the porsche finance through so they're like hold on he's buying a maserati ghibli today just signed for it and he's buying a whole porsche right now red flag so he calls me like bro did you buy another car did you buy another car i'm like nah bro what's going on he's like bro they fucked up your deal. Whoever you got the car with, they messed up your deal. Now LA da 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 da. They want to verify this. They want to verify that. It looks like you got another car. I'm gonna have to look for another bank. Look for another bank, and we ended up going with the we we got approved still global global something uh, banking uh, something approved. Um, I put a thousand down on this car. I tried to go zero, which we had zero down with the LA da 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 credit union. LA Credit Union or something like that. Los Angeles Credit Union. Had zero down, but the Maserati messed up the deal, bro. So I ended up having to put a thousand down, bro. So as you can see, that's how I did it. But the main thing about all that is how I got the cars. I got them within three to four weeks, a month. Once the bank, because this is what happens. Like I told you earlier, 
LA Credit Union, seeing that I just got another uh, loan, they're gonna deny you. So once it gets reported to my experience and my FICO score that I got an auto loan for 70K for the Benz or 60K for the Benz or however, 70 something for the Benz, no other auto, no other bank is gonna wanna give me an auto loan until like eight, to, eight months to a year to see that I can manage that type of loan with that type of payment. So that's why I got the cars and that's how I got the cars within such a short amount of time. And that's how you can go get the cars. You got to make sure that you're able to maintain the cars. It's not like, oh, just go get the payment. No, I make almost $4,000 in car payments. You know what I mean? But then again, all, this is a car business. These cars get rented out. Um, it's a business. It's a risk that I take. It's an investment that I take. These are assets for me. This, this is not pleasure. Yes, these bring um, more value to my life. They bring other conversations to help my business grow. Of course, hundred percent. And that's why I got these cars and that's how I did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to these chicken strips from Kane's man, smacking, going crazy. Mm. Had to take a bite, man. And I just want to get on here and give you guys game and show you guys how I did this shit, man, because y'all all calling me. I got people's cousins calling me that I've, I, used, I got people, I used to train, I got their cousins calling me, I got my boy's cousin, I got my brother calling, I got everybody calling me. Friends of friends, everybody trying to get in the business, trying to get in game, how do I do this, how do I do that? Well, look, man, that's how I did it. And um, I don't even have a good credit score yet. And when I do, you gonna see, you know, this is just a start, man. And this is the start of Lux Whips. And I'm very proud of myself, and I'm very proud of the company and the way it's looking. Um, for me to be a startup company, a brand new company in the industry, um, you know, the, the amount of cars and the, the car lineup and the fleet I have, a Mercedes-Benz C-Class, a Mercedes-Benz GLC AMG 43, a Porsche Macan S with red interior, a uh, Maserati Ghibli with red interior, a Ford Mustang um, convertible, and we got the, um, the Kia Soul, which we sold. So back to the video too, uh, we sold the Kia and we had to show one of the banks that we sold that car. So, yeah, man. And we also got two other little beers. We got the Ford Escape. And we got one more car. But the main car is the ones I named. And like I said, I'm trying to go get a Porsche tomorrow. So, stay tuned for that. Should be exciting. But I think once I get that Porsche, that will kind of be like the last last car for now. We, got, we have a partnership deal with the Lamborghini Urus as well. Um, so that's of course available for rent all the time. That one gets rented out for music videos and stuff like that all the time. So yeah, man, it's your boy, Big Connor, man. Stay tuned for another video. Go ahead, uh, like, comment, subscribe. This is not an advertisement for Canes. Your boy was just hungry and it was the, the thing that I saw here and I chose between Chick-fil-A and Canes, man. So, um, stay tuned for another video and good luck on your business or your journeys with this, um, Turo business in the car, car fleet industry and stuff like that. So if that's what you're trying to get into. So stay tuned, man. Go ahead and, and subscribe and like and share this with all your friends and family, man, and anybody you think who's interested in this type of content, man. Um, appreciate the love and appreciate you guys following me, man, and uh, staying tuned. All right, man, it's your boy. Catch you on another video.